Hey friends, my name is Emily and this August I will be a first year teacher here in Kentucky. My name on Instagram is Miss B's Class and I recently did a Target um, haul, a mini one, on my story and I asked if anyone would be interested in a full haul of everything I have so far um, on YouTube and some people said yes so I figured I might as well do it. So like I said, I will be a first year teacher in August and of course I've known that I'm gonna be a teacher for a while. So that means I've been collecting a few things throughout the past year or so just to get ready for August because I knew that I did not want to start um, buying stuff this summer because that would be a hefty bill. <laughs> um, so I kind of have separated things into different categories, um, loose categories for sure. Uh, so I'm gonna start with um, a few like actual school bits, like just essentials that you might need and then I kind of have like some storage stuff and then a lot of it is decor and the reason that is is because as of right now I'm not sure what grade I'll be in or even like what school <laughs> um, quite yet so um, I didn't want to buy a lot of content or specific grade level stuff because I will be certified K through 5 which means I could get a job in anywhere between kindergarten to fifth grade and those are very different um, <laughs> grades obviously so that is why you won't see a lot of content stuff today. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll start with is kind of the school things. <laughs> um, and I should have mentioned this before, but a lot of the stuff that I have comes from either Target, Dollar Spot, probably the number one thing or area you'll see, um, Big Lots, let's see, Michaels, um, and honestly just other stuff that friends and family have donated to my classroom which I'm super thankful for. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the school stuff. Um, the first thing I've got are just different packs of pencils. Um, you can find these in the dollar spot at Target for just a dollar and I believe there are um, 10 pencils in each pouch which is a good deal I feel like. Um, the next thing I have are these metal clips. Um, I don't believe they're magnet um, magnets, but you can clearly or easily add one to the back of them to stick on any magnetic board, or if you have like a pegboard or something like that, you can stick um, just a little um, tack on the back so that you can clip them um, anywhere. Um, the next thing I have are these word strips, and I have two packs of these. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll use them for yet, but obviously I'll figure it out. These were also in the Target dollar spot last summer, um, right before school went back, and they are a dollar a piece, and there are 50 in each, so I have 100 of these. Um, the next thing I have is just a little sticker book. Um, stickers are always fun, and these ones are school related, so I thought I'd pick these up. Next, I have these bookmarks. I think I originally thought about giving these to um, my kindergartners that I just had during student teaching, but um, I didn't get to do that before the pandemic happened and schools were shut down. So I'll just hang on to these. I'm sure I have I will have future students that will definitely love a good bookmark. Next, I have a metal hanging bin, and I believe this one. Oh, it's not magnetized, but that's okay. Again, you can just add a magnet to the back and voila um and i figured i could probably use this just for pens pencils just to have around the room another thing that i found in the target dollar spot were these wall decals and they are just different colors i really liked how simple these were um and honestly you could have these in any classroom anywhere <laughs> so even if i do end up in an intermediate grade it's always good to have colors in your room um so i really liked these as well Another thing I found in the dollar spot, um, this was actually last summer again, but maybe we'll have it again this summer coming around um, before school starts, is this activity cube. Um, and it comes with different like cards on here and they actually, I think, uh, you just put the cards in and then the pockets themselves are a dry erase surface so you can write anything you want on it. Um, this could be good for a different, like a center or even just like a quick activity um, to start the day. Another thing I have are these dry erase lap boards. Um, I think I've got six of these. I have some more over there. Um, I figured these would be good in centers like reading groups or um, just anything where you might need a different dry erase board for your students. Now I'm gonna move on to storage. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, um, I'm not really sure how, but I'm just gonna hold it up and see if this works. <laughs> this. I'm not really sure what the actual name of this is, but it's just a metal tray that has different trays on it. You can stick things in it, um, like paper and stuff, so just another way to keep me organized. Um, fun fact, when I got that, it was actually tan, and I did not like the color of it, so I just took some spray paint, and voila! Now it matches my kind of decor theme that I'm going with, so 
Um, and that's a tip I have for you is if you don't if you get something and you don't like the color of it just spray paint it no one will ever know and that works for that <laughs> another thing I had donated to my classroom were these baskets um, and they actually were from the same person who gave me that so Morgan if you're watching I appreciate you okay the next thing I have to show you are these bins right here as you can see they're just like the standard like book bins that I've seen some teachers use um, but I've got these at Big Lots last summer and I believe they are on sale and I don't actually remember the price though so um, I have a few uh, of these some in black some in gray I'm just holding two for example um, and that is kind of the color scheme if you can't tell of my classroom it's gonna be like whites and blacks and a little bit of gray and some pops of green kind of like a farmhouse vibe <laughs> uh, but yeah so those bins are going to be great for storage and right along with storage um the next thing i have are is this bin it's just a, a clear bin with a gray lid and a small one and then i also have a larger one <laughs> um and these are the sterilite like snap bins so the top's like let me show you snap on um, and I have, I think, eight of the big ones and probably, I think, ten of the little ones. I'm not quite sure on that. But uh, I thought these would be good for storage. Hopefully, in my classroom, I'll have some sort of cabinets that I can stick these in and then stick, um, like, just school supplies in that my students will need. Um, so just help me, help keep me organized. And again, I got these at Big Lots, just like the other containers. And I got them on sale. So again, watch for sales. <laughs> Okay, the next thing um, for storage I have are these smaller bins. They're just black bins. Um, I got these at Target actually just this past week. And these were $4 a piece, which um, I was pretty happy with. I figured I can get a lot of use out of these. Maybe just put them around my classroom or again just use them to store supplies. Um, I'm not really sure quite yet if I'm going to do like community supplies or how I'm gonna that's gonna work in my classroom But I figured I would definitely get some use out of these and I have four for now But I actually might go back and get more. <laughs> okay, so some other things I got were this is this letter sorter um, It's just kind of looks like this and you can stick papers in it um, This might go on my desk or something like that. We'll figure that out um, And that, I got that at Target just last week. Um, I also got this kind of tray. I figured I could use this as a turn-in tray or something along those lines. I actually got this um, during student teaching a few semesters ago and I did use it as a turn-in tray for them when I was in fifth grade and it seemed to work out well. I also saw that one of my um, teachers that I've been working with had a turn-in tray kind of like this for her class students and they used it all the time and I kind of like that system so I might incorporate that into my room. Okay, this next item, I'm not sure if you would classify it as storage or decor, so I'll let you figure that out. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but it's just this table caddy. Um, I know that I said my theme was like black and whites, but it's also kind of neutrals, and that's why I like the color of this. It's pretty like, like a natural wood. Um, and this is going to go on my teacher desk to hold all of my pens and pencils and markers and post-it notes and stuff like that that I need to keep right near me. Um, I think I'm going to put my name on the back just for fun um, and maybe a quote down here for me. So to kind of go along with that last caddy, um, I also have this one, also found in the Target dollar spot, um, and I was originally going to use this as my caddy for my teacher desk, but once I saw that one, I was like, no, I need that. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Again, maybe put pens, pencils, and stuff in here. Um, I might get a few, a few more of these if they have them again this summer, because um, this did come from last summer. And this would be good to hold community supplies. I can just see like pencils and stuff fitting in here for students, scissors, glue, stuff like that. So we might have to go make another trip this summer when school starts back to see if we can find these because I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Now I want to move on to decor, which is probably my favorite part of the haul. Um, I think first I'm going to start with this sign that was given to me by one of my good friends, Morgan again. She's literally so artistic and awesome. When I got this, I literally cried. So um, it is a sign. I plan on hanging this in my room somewhere. It says home sweet classroom, which is definitely very fitting for me. This is my um, classroom theme in a whole nutshell so she definitely hit it out of the park with this one um, i love the greenery the blacks and whites everything about it <laughs> so thanks morgan i appreciate you along with that sign i also have another one um this one i plan on hanging on my actual classroom door um just so people know they're welcome when, as soon as they walk in so this one um i actually had the board in the top made somewhere 
and then I just put on the vinyl myself um, and it says hi sweet friends and I just want people to see this and think I'm a friend I'm going <laughs> next we have pillows <laughs> some of these are definitely actually mm, some of these are not on brand I guess you could say with the theme I'm going with but they were just so cute that I could not resist so um, the first one I have is this one of a globe or just like the world um, love this I plan on putting all of these maybe in my classroom library or just somewhere that they fit oh my goodness <laughs> um, in the classroom and these all came from the Target dollar spot um, that one was from last summer this one was also from last summer it says be awesome today I really got it because I love this this is like the composition um, kind of look and I love that uh, next we have the infamous pencil pillow this last summer was so hard to find um, actually one of my friends that went to um, school with me found it at her target she knew I had been looking for it so she snatched it up and kept it for me all summer until I got back up there during the school year because I go to school um, not where I live now um, so she held on to it for me for months before I could actually get it to her get it from her and I was so thankful for that so thanks Carmen if you're watching um, this next pillow is actually from this summer. If you've seen it on Instagram, maybe um, it's the ABC pillow. I also have the ABC uh, or like the same pattern in like the flag tenant. Um, I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Last pillow I have to show you is this one. If you watched my Instagram haul the other day, you might have seen it. Um, it's just black and white with little pom poms on it. When I first saw this, I fell in love. <laughs> but I was also a little nervous that these pom poms would maybe fall off. But they seem to be like pretty sturdy so hopefully that won't be an issue the next thing i have is this ruler strip um so it has ruler it's a ruler and then it has these little metal clips on it um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this yet but i just saw it and thought it was the cutest thing ever so i had to get it <laughs> this next thing i believe was a gift from to me from a friend which i'm really thankful for and it's a little calendar um in the form of an apple which is awesome so it has the date the month and then you can also change the day which i thought was pretty cool so this will probably sit on my desk <laughs> my next bit of decor is greenery or plants um i love the or just having like little green plants around um of course you can't see any in the background but in my room i have a ton of little just like succulents that i am obsessed with and i wanted to have that in my classroom so this first one, oh, these are all from the Target dollar spot, of course. <laughs> this first one um, is just a metal tin with some green on top. Um, and these all came from last summer as well. This one is also a metal tin. This one has a few flowers on it though, which I liked. And then these ones were just so cute, I couldn't pass up. Um, this one's in the or has a base that looks like a pencil with the leaf on top. This one, again, is that composition notebook um, style. And then this one is kind of like tracing paper, looks like that. I also got this tray, yep, from the Target dollar spot. Again, don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it was super cute. Okay, I also have three metal bins, two black and one white. Um, I just thought these were cool and had a good look. Next, I have these two boards. One is a cork board organizer and one is a dry erase board. I liked how this had the white rim and this had the black. Um, I will probably put these somewhere. Well, I definitely will put these somewhere around my classroom, um, maybe at my desk or just around the room for student use. Okay, some other things that come from the Target Dollar Spot this year are these decorative hooks. Um, I should have taken this out of the bag. Didn't think about it, but um, it's just a big hook that you can stick on the wall. They have This one has a black trim and this one has a pink trim. Um, it looks like that or open it and put papers in it or just other important things that you want to hang up around the room okay so one thing that i love just in general and not even with classrooms um, or anything like that is lights i don't know if you can see but i have like fairy lights and they go all the way around my room i also have a whole wall of lights right here like fairy lights so i knew that i needed to have those in my classroom um so here are just some that i have i'm not sure if they'll no they don't light up oh there you go <laughs> um so here are just some i got these from big lots i believe they are on sale um I'm not sure the lighting situation yet. I want to have a few lamps around my room, some fairy lights and stuff like that. So maybe these will be good around the front board. Um, I'm not sure. Another thing I have is this pencil and it has slots for other pencils. Um, I figured I could write my name on this. Um, it's just a cute little classroom decor. Okay, so like I mentioned, my theme was kind of like farmhouse, black, white, green, stuff like that. So 
I got these leaves. <laughs> I'm not sure quite yet what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe use them to um, decorate a bulletin board or something like that, but these will be in my classroom. So some more decor I have are these wall art stickers. And these are just stars. Um, these are kind of like a vinyl material, which you can just stick on the wall, and then they are pretty easy to um, take off, which is ideal for a classroom. Um, so I was really excited to find these. Another thing I found was this banner, and it was essentially everything that I need in a banner. <laughs> um, these are just little wooden circles, and they have like that light neutral wood, and then the uh, decor or the extra um, decoration on them are black and white. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus. Oh, maybe, there we go. So I love these. Okay, probably my favorite thing that I found um, this summer so far are these trays. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just obsessed with them. I love them so much. This one is white with the black palm leaves and this one is black with white polka dots. I love this um, type of polka dots. Um, it's just because you can tell they're not like perfect and that's what I like. The next thing I have to show you is actually a present given to me by a close family friend for graduation. I'm super thankful for it. Um, and it's this giant dry erase calendar board that also has a little cork board with it. Um, I'm so excited for this because it's so big and I can put this by my teacher desk and write every important date on it. <laughs> The last item of classroom decor that I have is a doormat that I plan on putting on the inside of my classroom door, and it looks like this. I found this at Target, um, and it just says, all are welcome here, and that is definitely true for um, my future classroom. Everyone is welcome, and I just want everyone to feel comfortable in my space. The last few things that I want to show you are just things that I either forgot to show you in different sections or are um, just things I didn't really know what to, or to put in which section, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing is Expo markers. Um, someone gave these to me as a little graduation gift, that, so I was really excited to get these. Um, I also got a bunch of different flashcards um, just for different uses, so same and different, landmarks, United States, subtraction. Uh, multiplication, money, and addition. So these will be good to use throughout my classroom. Some other things I got were these pointer sticks. Um, I got these in the Target Dollar Spot last summer. Um, there's a globe, an apple, a rainbow, and a pizza, of course. I just thought these were so fun and too cute to pass up. So, And they were only a dollar, so I, of course, had to get them. <laughs> Some more cute stuff that I just had to have were four different rolls of washi tape. Um, this one has like numbers on it in different colors. This one has the alphabet and again that tracing paper and then lastly we have one that just has crayons going around it and I just loved these. I'm not really sure what use I will get out of them but I will find some. Don't you worry. <laughs> The last few things that I've been collecting for my classroom are some indoor recess games. The weather here where I live in Kentucky can kind of be crazy, not just day to day, but from morning to afternoon. Um, one minute it could be sunny and then the next it could be rainy, so you never really know, so you gotta be prepared. Um, so some of the games I have are Twister and Sorry. I actually got Twister donated to my classroom by one of my good friends, so thank you Jenna, I appreciate you. Um, and then I also got Sorry. I actually got this at a store that was closing down, so it was really cheap and I was super shocked, so I had to pick it up. And this is also one of my favorite board games, like, ever. One product that I have been ecstatic about since I got it was my own personal laminator. Um, I have the Amazon Basics one, but I also heard that the Scotch one is good as well. I have used this so much throughout the education program at my school, uh, just in my different placements. I just love laminating different things um, to give to my students and also just for me to have. Um, so I definitely recommend getting one of these. I plan on getting a second one so I can have one at school and one at home. <laughs> to kind of go along with the laminator, one thing I also suggest is having one of these. Um, this is a like cutting board that you can use. Um, and you just use the slider to cut paper. It's super easy. It made my life so much easier once I figured out what these were. Um, and again, I'm going to have, I actually do have a second one, so I'm going to keep one here and one at school. A few other things that I have um, are just too large for me to hold up. So uh, one thing is the three... Um, three tiered rolling carts from Michael. I have one in black and it's a wire. I'll try and put up a picture here. I also have two of the other um, rolling carts from Michael's. I have the one that is um, 
put up a picture here one that is five bigger drawers and it is the um like white i guess cart <laughs> and then i also have the 10 smaller drawers i'll try and hold up like put pictures here <laughs> Um, and then another thing I have is a white bookshelf from Target that I got. Again, I'm not going to hold that up, <laughs> um, but I'll try and insert a picture here for you. Um, I got it last summer, and if depending on the size of my classroom um, and just like the storage situation, I might pick up another one because um, it's pretty sturdy, so I like it a lot. All right, I think that's all I have for you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all stuff that I've been collecting over the last year and a half or so, so it's definitely not something that I would just go out and buy all at once because I don't even want to think about what I've spent so far in my classroom um, but I know that it'll all be worth it in the end and I'm just super excited to be in that space and to be um, teaching my future students um, because it's definitely something that I've always wanted to do all right um, if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe that would really help me out also if you want to follow me on Instagram my handle is at Miss B's class um, and I would love to see you there bye guys have a great day Thank you.